There was an earthquake at two past midnight on the 14th of November in 2016. This earthquake was a magnitude 7.8, located about 15 kilometres inland from Cheviot, the top half of the South Island of New Zealand. As a result of that earthquake, we had a number of landslides that came down across both the main north line, the railway line, and also State Highway 1, the main arterial for the South Island. There were about 30 odd slips south of Kaikoura that severed the, the road and rail and there was this, a similar number in the north of Kaikoura in the coastal section that severed the road and the rail there as well. As a result of that earthquake, Nectar was born. This alliance between contractors, clients and designers then set about clearing up those slips. Uh, we've moved uh, several hundreds of thousands of cubes of, of dirt and rock off both rail and road. We've got four realignment sections within the Northern Corridor and that is approximately 3.8 kilometres of realignment. Three of those sites are of seawall construction. The whole hillside is fractured and it's not safe to reinstate the road back in its old road realignment. With the earthquake we're lucky enough that we gained quite a bit of land with the land shifting upwards and that's allowed us to shift our road realignment out into the foreshore. The major constraint that we've all had to deal with is time. We've had a challenge set by our clients to ensure that the road is open on the 15th of December. The challenge is that this is a sea wall. Wall is there to protect the new corridor from the ocean forces and actions, waves, storms, whatever. We had to design something that's going to be robust but also uh, appropriate to build in, in quite an active environment. So it required a bit of out of the box thinking. So that's where we came up with an MSC wall design but with large block facing. You know, it's obviously a, a massive sea wall, big design, it's about two and a half k's of wall, all MSC walls initially to start off with. Bespoke design, large mass concrete blocks connected to an MSC wall. The connection detail was quite a significant part of the design being that it was made in house by us with the help of Certex. We brought Certex on really early on in the piece when we were in the early design phases. We knew that we were going to be building or designing a bespoke seawall construction. From there, Certex have been involved every step of the way. When our designs have changed somewhat, they've been there and, and receptive and responsive and to make sure that we're getting the material that we need on site. And they've really bought into that time challenge that we've had to open the road. Probably some of the key products we've supplied to the Alliance would be the strata grid, um, polyester geogrids for in the MEC walls. We've also supplied the strata grid geogrid straps, one of the critical components for connecting the blocks to the MEC structure. We've supplied a lot of the drainage cell product, which has been attached to the back of the wall. And then obviously a huge amount of the Duraforce geotextile has been used for a lot of separation and the wrap in the MEC wall. Our experience with them has been good. The drainage cell has been very easy to install, very easy to modify and cut if we need to. And probably the biggest thing is the speed of how fast we can put it up is what's been the, um, the most positive thing. As we didn't have any experience with, with this type of connection before, we worked through with Certex around doing some full scale testing. Primarily the testing was done for the strap connection to the block. Um, that everyone knew this was going to be an area of critical effort, if you like, in the event of a seismic event. And the requirement was primarily driven by NZTA. There was nothing in documents to say it would work, apart from the beliefs of the designers and their modelling. And with the subsequent testing, it showed that the strength there was more than adequate for the scope of works. Because we require a lot of different products apart from the strata grid, we set up a cutting depot just up the road from the project. Also there is a cutting station. We have a team of guys up there who cut the strata grid and various cloths. We had Certex come down to instruct the guys in the best techniques as regards cutting and packaging and how to get the product to site. Certex visit site regular. We have on-site meetings. They're more than happy to come and look at the job with you and discuss what we need when, when we need it. Plus we've, we've got a storage yard that they help stock and supply and maintain the levels of stock we have in that yard for that reason. Relationships on the ground here have been critical for Certex and Nectar. With being such a challenging project, with the environment and the time constraints, we've got some amazing relationships on the ground here that have really helped us work together. They've created a partnership with Nectar 
and, and that to me is the, is the biggest strength of the relationship. On this project they are essential, critical path elements all the way through here to try and meet the Christmas deadline. If we hadn't had the response from Certex in respect to the supply of the material and giving us the technical information that was required by NZTA and the designers, we wouldn't be where we are now.